Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewers about virtualization. Today's video presentation is going to be a fairly beginner-friendly presentation. We are going to ask you to refer to our other video of setting up a container if you don't already know how to do that. But then I'm going to walk you through the beginning steps needed to start your own basic web server using one of the most popular web server on the market, Apache 2. With that, let's begin with setting up our container and installing Apache. Then I'll move on to showing you what files to edit and where the default page is stored so you can edit that directory to house your own page. We're going to go ahead select our server then we're going to go up here and select create ct you can give it a name enter your password we want to use an unprivileged container so we can just click next this is the template you need to have downloaded the template my templates are stored in local and we're going to use the ubuntu 21.04 template we can click next. Eight gigs of storage will be more than enough. If you're limited on storage, you can even turn this back to four. One CPU, 512 megs of RAM. If this is just a home use website, this will be all right for you. You can always go in and edit these settings if you find your server not able to keep up with the traffic. Your network address, you want to be static, and we can fill one out. I would suggest filling out your own, as your IP address range will not probably be the same. We're going to add dash 24 to identify the subnet mask at the end, and my gateway is that. We can leave DNS settings alone, and confirm, and press finish. Our container has been created. We can go ahead and exit the task viewer and we see our container here. We don't need to do any additional configuration in our container. So we can press start and open our console. Now this brings us to a really nice console for working with our container without having to set up anything like SSH. To log into our newly created container, your login is gonna be root. Our password is going to be the password that we configured at the first page of our container creator, right here, and then we confirmed it right here. The first thing we want to do in this container is to make sure we update our repositories and install any possible updated software that we may need. To do that, we're gonna enter apt, update, ampersand, and an ampersand and entering the command apt upgrade and then we can confirm that we want to do the upgrade without it asking us yes or no by just adding a dash y to the end press enter and the update and upgrade process will run we need to now install apache 2 so we can begin hosting our own web page to do that we're going to enter the command apt install apache2 and we're going to go ahead and add the dash y at the end so we don't have to answer that yes or no question. All right, apache's installed. Now we should remember the IP address that we created when we configured the container. We can also go ahead and enter a command at this point to find out what our IP address is. The command we're going to enter is IP address. And here is the IP address on our local network for our container. So if we go to a web browser and enter that, you can see that we now have a working web server in a container on your Proxmox server. This gives us a lot of different information, including where this actual page itself is housed. But let's take a look at how to get there and begin creating our own web page. So we enter cd 
and then we can enter the file path to get there. And as you can see, we can use the ls command to show all the files inside of this HTML folder. The only file we have is the index.html. Now, if we want to begin editing this page, we need to get it into some type of editor so we can modify the HTML. So to do that, we're going to use the nano text editor. We're going to enter the command nano, and then we're just going to type the name of the file that we want to edit, index.html. And here you go. Here is the actual code that makes up the web page that we see over here. So we can begin editing things like, say, this line. But let's try just editing something quick so you can see that we can actually make changes. We added a welcome to VE. Now we can save this by hitting Control X, Y for yes, and enter. Now when we reload the page, we can see the title up here changes to Welcome to VE. That's all for creating your own web server using your Proxmox Home Lab server and an Ubuntu container. Please like, share, and subscribe to help us bring more great content like this video. As always, have a good night.